Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to do a green screen effect in Camtasia 2020. All right, so I'm here on the Camtasia dashboard and I'm gonna show you how I made this. So it's just a funny clip of me in front of a green screen and then I've got like a space background behind me and these are kinds of the things that you can do with a green screen effect. So I'll just play it here for you right now. There's no sound or anything. It's just me being a weirdo in front of the green screen. <laughs> now the original looked like this. So this was the actual green screen clip and then we removed it to look like this. Now I will say that the green screen effect in Camtasia is very basic. And as you can see, when I am waving my arms around, I'll just play it again. When you do fast movements, you can slightly see a little bit of green, but it's better than nothing. So first thing to note when you're doing the green screen effect is if you're filming your own stuff on green screen, you need to make sure that you have it set up correctly. So you need to make sure that you have enough light going on. If you don't, then it won't remove the green very cleanly. So this was the original footage and you can see that I'm very well lit. It, it could have been done better, I have to say, but this was just for a test video. And then in the end, it ended up looking like this. So it's, it's pretty clean. And I'm gonna have a clip here come up of when we were filming these actual green screens so you guys can see the actual setup. All right, for the green screen setup, we've got the camera over here. Arit is right there. The two umbrella lights are side to side. We're in the, the kitchen dining room area. And then obviously we've got the green screen behind her. And then we've just got also this sort of chandelier light and then these sort of uh, lights that are embedded into the ceiling. But that's pretty much it that we've got going on. And then once we film our clip on here, then we just take that and then pump it into Camtasia and then remove the green color that is behind her. All right, so that's how we did the actual setup. And if you guys want to check out the green screen and the umbrella lights that we used, we got those both on Amazon. I'll have the links to those down in the description below. Okay, so now once you have your green screen clip, it's going to be something like this. When you've got it on your timeline, just get it to a position where everything's all clean and you're not blurry or anything, something like here. I don't want to start doing this technique when I'm doing something like this where it's my hands are all blurry and it's all waving around because I might not be able to get a clean removal out of that. So I like to start off with something where it's clean, generally where I'm standing still. And then from here, you want to head over to the left hand side. If you don't see visual effects, click the more button and then it will be in this extra drop down menu but here i just used it so it's already there then you want to click on remove a color so i'm going to drag that onto my green screen clip and then from here on the right hand side you see where it's all like neon green and stuff click on that then this thing is called the eyedropper you're going to click on that and then you're going to want to sample the green that you want to remove. So you can see if I click on my hair, then that's like a black and then my skin. And, but I want to remove the green. So I'm going to click on the green background. And then you see for the most part, it removes it, but you can see there's a little bit of green haze happening. Now we can fix that a little bit, but not fully, fully, completely, like I said, it is not as advanced, but it's a pretty cool feature. So in the tolerance, I'm going to raise it up a bit, not too much because you'll see if you do it, then I end up looking like a scary zombie. So don't remove it too much, but just like a little bit. I'll do something like that. And if you make a mistake and you're like, oh no, what was that? Just click this button right here, which is kind of like a reversal and it'll go back to the original, which it was at 10%. So I'm going to raise it up again. 
maybe up to 17. And then if you want to be more precise with the percentages, you can just literally click on it and then change the number yourself rather than using the mouse. Then uh, with the softness, you can raise that up a bit. Again, you don't want to do it too much because then you end up looking like a zombie. And then if you're like, oh no, that's too much, just click this button right here and then it'll go back to original 10%. So I'll raise it just a smidge. And then with the defringe, I don't think I'm going to be doing too much, but I'll just show you guys. You can see, well, it changes my skin color entirely. And if you want to do, I mean, this could be like a cool kind of effect if you're, if you were doing like a really abstract video, but I won't play with that too much. So I'm going to just revert it back to 0%. And then from here, you want to add a background. So the whole thing with green screen is that you're going to remove whatever's behind the thing and then replace it with something. So I have here some cool cosmic space footage and I'm going to place it there. And I, I flipped it upside down because I wanted the purple to be down below. But you can see that I'm kind of like a little bit see-through. I'm, I'm a bit see-through. So what I want to do is I want to go back to maybe the softness and I'll lower that down. So I'm going to make sure I'm on the clip and lower it down a bit. And you can see I become more full in color again. And then I'm just going to right click and silence the audio because I don't need the audio. And then the last thing I did was I made myself a little bit smaller just so that if if it's full size here, then you'll you'll see things like, you know, the inconsistency with my hair and stuff. But this is just like a test video, so I'm going to just make it a little bit smaller and then you can see it looks much cleaner and it looks a lot cooler. So we will click play on this. And then it's just me in front of the green screen. And you can see that, you know, when I'm moving fast in front of the green screen, you can see a little bit of it, but that's okay. Like it still looks like a cool feature. Like I said, the more lighting, the better. But if you're not moving around too much and you're kind of just staying in position, just like talking, doing a talking head video, then it'll be fine. So that is how you do the green screen effect in Camtasia 2020. If you like these kinds of videos, you guys can check out my nine plus hour Camtasia course. There's over 70 lectures, including a lecture where I show you how to actually set up a green screen with the whole green cloth and things on the side, how to hang it. And then with the lights, that lecture is also included in the course. And you guys can check that out down in the description below. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.